some breaking inputs which have which have just come in where according to intelligence sources who have decoded a plot by Pakistan's ISI to destabilize the India Myanmar relationship the sources have stated within through the intelligence service have stated that the Pakistani ISI the inter services agency is planning to open a new setup in Myanmar and has instructed one of its senior officers to chalk out a plan to extend their zone of influence in the troubled Rakhine province. It's also believed that the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army has established a nexus with the lashkar e taiba and the Mumbai attack mastermind in Lashkar Operative Muzammil has reportedly been entrusted with the task to carry out major attacks using this route. The sources say that as many as 1,000 jihadists have joined the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army to carry out such attacks. So this is the latest that we are getting in where the Indian intelligence agencies apparently have decoded some plans of the Pakistani intelligence agency, the ISI, where ISI reportedly is planning to extend its sphere of influence into the Rakhine province in Myanmar. And for more on this, we are joined in by our correspondent Manish Shukla. Manish, what more information do we have on this? Uh, see, uh, according uh, as per the top intelligence sources, Pakistan is planning to open new setup in Myanmar because uh, you know Pakistan, as I wants access in the Rakhine area, so they can get better understanding uh, mm -hmm. of these places, and also uh, they are planning to provide. Uh, logistic support to ARSA, Arkan Rohingya Salvation Army, because Pakistan thinks that uh, ARSA may be for their strategic asset in the future. Mm -hmm. Because with the help of ARSA they, uh, and the emerging situation, what is happening at Bangladesh and Myanmar border, it is very favorable uh, for them. So they contacted one of their very senior army officer in Myanmar, and uh, Pakistan uh, ISI asked them to talk with uh, their defense attache in uh, Thailand. And so they can plan and make a plan so how they can access in the Rakhine area because this area is very difficult. There is no government. And uh, Pakistan thinks that if they will be able to contact with some top ARSA jihadis, and uh, earlier it was reported that Lashkar Toiba is also interested to. A trend uh, ARSA jihadis, so mm -hmm. it will be very difficult situation for India because you know the Myanmar and India border is open, and mm -hmm. from that places, if they uh, able to send their terror groups in India, uh, it will be very easy for them because uh, you know at the Pakistan and India border there is a very tight whistle, and they are thinking the way ARSA is uh, gradually, gradually um, they are uh, 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 they are becoming stronger. So, right. So they are just thinking that it could be very beneficial for them. Absolutely. Now, this is all source-based information. India has a stake in getting the Rohingya crisis resolved. So has the Indian establishment, do we know anything, whether they are planning to tackle this threat by the ISI to recruit some members of the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army? Yeah, see, uh, there is a lot of report about uh, uh, Pakistan ISI is providing some training top ARSA leaders seen inside Pakistan and they are asking that go there and ask the uh, uh, Rohingyas and recruit them in mm -hmm. their terror group in ARSA. There is report that almost 1,000 uh, numbers of uh, jihadis uh, who have joined ARSA. So situation uh, gradually, gradually uh, uh, very worsening there because, you know, a uh, lot of uh, Rohingyas uh, are uh, migrating from uh, Myanmar into right. Bangladesh and few are, uh, few are, uh, few, maybe few can join uh, these groups and uh, if the ISI able to provide them weapons like uh, assault rifles or uh, other weapons, it will be very easy for them to ask to target uh, Myanmar also, Bangladesh also, because India and Bangladesh also have the very good relationship. And they, if they can destabilize Bangladesh and uh, Myanmar, so so it will be very good for them uh, and it will be threat for India also. Absolutely indeed, Manish. Thank you very much indeed for joining us with that information. Where In the latest round of information that is coming in through the sources, it's being said that the ISI, the Pakistan's Intel services agency is planning to perhaps get in touch with 
the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army in, in a bid to try and destabilize the region. But the fact of the matter is, India, Bangladesh and Myanmar have a stake in trying to get this crisis, the Rohingya crisis, resolved as soon as possible. And also on this story, we are joined in by Lieutenant General Raj Kandyan over the story. Uh, uh, General Kadian, you know, it's a bit of an interesting thing, the manner in which Pakistan, which, which has been well known in the past to try and spread its tentacles of terror, you know, in the greater region of the subcontinent, is also trying to increase its sphere of influence in the troubled Rakhine province as well. Yes. While talking of ISIS or ISIS, ever since it came into being in 2014, Mm -hmm. It has been uh, making announcement that they will expand eastward to include India, Nepal, Burma, Bangladesh, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So whatever information is now coming in is in line with their philosophy of expansion. And Pakistan, they already have a base, I have no doubt. Plus, they have a lot of sympathizers in Pakistan because of the Islam commonality. So India is already aware of this, that there will be some activity by the ISIL to establish their cells within the country and expand their base. We are, I'm sure, our intelligence agencies and our security agencies are aware of it and they're ready for it to counter in whatever manner we can. But that's a, that's a menace. It's a long-term problem for the whole world. Right. The threat of Islam is there. And they are the most ruthless organization that is, terror organization that has come into existence in the recent past. I mean, they behead people, they send uh, very frightening videos all over to intimidate people. So we have, we have to be ready as a country. Absolutely indeed. And also, General Kadian, considering the fact, you know, the Rohingya crisis is an extremely a complicated one. And every country, India, Bangladesh and Myanmar, has a stake in getting this crisis resolved as soon as possible. Do you think this attempt by the ISI perhaps to... Um, you know, try and radicalize some members of the Rohingya community who have taken up arms against Myanmar for the crackdown that it has carried out in recent years. This is a worrying development. And is there something which the Indian government can actually do in this? Yes, the Rohingyas are Muslims in Burma, which is a Buddhist country. They have a problem. They feel persecuted. A lot of them, more than six lakhs, have already come into Bangladesh. So that is a fertile ground for any terror organization to find sympathizers, to radicalize them, and to use them for a large role of spread of Islam. So it is not something which uh, was not foreseen or which could not be appreciated earlier. Mm -hmm. Rohingyas today provide a very fertile group of people to recruit people for ISIS and even Pakistan ISI has already been known to be active. In fact, one of the reasons India wanted to deport the 40-odd thousand Rohingyas that are already in India is because some links have been found between the Rohingyas and Pakistan ISI. So it was a threat to the national security. So that continues and we have to be vigilant on this front either also. Absolutely indeed, General Kandyan. Thank you very much indeed for joining us with your perspective on this big story that we're talking where, according to sources, it's being said that the ISI Pakistani Intelligence Service Agency is planning to spread its tentacles of terror into the Rakhine province as well. It now remains to be seen as to have the governments of India, Bangladesh and Myanmar deal with this crisis.